Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Shreyoshi and in this video, I'll be showing you guys how I took a trip to Darjeeling in the month of February within a budget. So, we started off from Shialda station and we were a group of 7 people travelling alone for the first time without our parents. NJP the next day at around 7 a.m. in the morning and we hired a tour agency for the whole trip. I'll link their number below in the description box. Then we started our journey from NJP to Lepcha Jagat. Lepcha Jagat and we stayed at Pine View Homestay and the view from there was amazing. We stayed there for one night. Although it was super cold, we still managed to enjoy every bit of it. In the evening, it was freezing outside, so we decided to do a bonfire with friends and we enjoyed a lot. The next morning, we went to see the Kanchenjunga viewpoint, but it was so cloudy out there, we couldn't see anything. So as you, as you can see that this is the Kanchenjunga viewpoint and we are going towards our homestay. Yeah. Because well, luckily we, we have missed it my friends. Yeah, we have missed it. Of clouds and fog. So. After having our breakfast from the homestay, we left Lepcha Jagat and we were on our way towards Darjeeling. Our car and hotels were already booked by the agency. We reached Darjeeling at around 11 am and our hotel had an amazing view from the window so we sat there for a few hours and chilled and relaxed I don't know, my lipstick is too deep. I couldn't help it. 
After that, we went to have our lunch from Caventers, which is an eatery from the British colonial days, and they serve some of the best English breakfast and snacks around Darjeeling. Then we roamed around the mall road for a while and bought some gifts for our friends and families. In the evening, we went to the mall road again to have some momos and take photos. The mall road is the heart of Darjeeling town. It is located on top of Nehru Road and it is an open area where tourists and locals come to lounge, shop and take a seat on one of the many benches. After that, we did some shopping from a side by alley in the Mal Road, which is present on both the sides of the road. And then we went to Glenary's, which is a bakery and a cafe from the British colonial days. was all about visiting monasteries and sightseeing. First we went to the Japanese Peace Pagoda which is a Japanese temple located 10 minutes away from the Darjeeling town center. After that, we went on to Rock Garden, which is a famous tourist attraction in Darjeeling. It has amazing waterfalls and photogenic views. Hello friends, so we have come to see a waterfall. Then we went to the Darjeeling Zoo and Himalayan Mountaineering Institute and did some fun activities there. We did 
did zip lining and rock climbing there which seemed very scary at first but we enjoyed a lot afternoon it got super cloudy and started raining we experienced snowfall as well and it was mesmerizing We went to Glenary's for having dinner and it was a live musical night and we were enjoying our last day in Darjeeling. The next day we were coming back home and we made our stop in Sukhia Pokhri Simana point which is an Indo Nepal border situated in Jore Banglo located 11 kilometers from Ghum on the way to Mirik we had maggi and momos from a local street side shop which is a must if you're in the mountains After that we stopped at a tea garden near Mirik for taking photos and having chai Then we went to Mirik which is a small town in Darjeeling and has an amazing lake. We did horse riding and boating and had our lunch there. super sad that the trip was finally ending and we spent the night on train gossiping and playing you know so yeah that's it for this video if you've enjoyed watching it give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more such videos and don't forget to share this video with your friends and family thanks for watching bye bye